Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die, No Blood Moon. On the Radio Man 03, it's awesome to have you along. Sitting in our little hole. It's nighttime. It's dark. It's scary. There's a thunderstorm outside. Miserably cold. I'm making some almighty duct tape. Like it's some glue. I need some duct tape. Uh, D, a U, and a C. Got some extra repair kits over here. Think. Okay, and then what else? I wanted to make. I needed one more armor pocket mod. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I ran out of glue, so I'm making it with the bones and the uh, murky water. I've used up the rest of our murky water to make some glue. I figured, what the heck? Might as well have it, right? It's almost done. Um, okay, so not much has changed inside here. Matter of fact, I don't think like anything's changed at all. Our chests are full of good stuff, though. Which is cool. We've got that there. Let's take a look at that. There's a few things I should sell. We're actually going to go see that new trader. We're going to open that trader out today. So I'm going to sell it. Look at this. Look what I found, like, right after the last episode. <laughs> Literally. Like, in some garbage. In some garbage. Yeah. Well, that's okay. We bought it. Purchase made. Had I waited, I don't know. Maybe I would have found it. Maybe I wouldn't have found it. I don't know. But there it was. Uh, we've got a little bit of ammo left over here. I'm just taking a little bit out. The 7.62s, I don't have many. I decided to go back to the pistol because the pistol is quite accurate, especially for like the rabbits and the chickens. You could pop them with a 9mm, and I think you get more 9mm than you seem to get 7.62s. At least that's my experience so far. But then again, I've not done a whole lot of rating as of yet. I kind of save that for when you guys are with me. So while it's nighttime, I'm going to talk about these things. And then uh, in the morning, we're going to go check out that new trader and maybe do a job for him down there. And just, you know, kind of hang out down there for a little bit and, and go see what that one's all about. It's just to our southeast. Hop, skip, and a jump. I will show you what I did on the outside. I got some kind of a, a bit of a kind of an idea in my head right now. And I'm going to run it by you and kind of, I've, I've got it mapped out a little bit better. And then we did some digging too. We did some digging. I think I got four or five points uh, over the weekend, just doing some digging and just, you know, laying blocks and, and just doing the thing, you know, the thing. So I've got a little bit of work done, a little bit of work. I'm going to put away all of this stuff. Like so. Boink, sell, and sell. So I made us level two tools. We now have, well, I, we had the level two bat already. What did I do? I made a level two pickaxe. And I made a level two shovel, level two shovel, and then we have the grave digger mod on that. And I purchased that uh, from Joel for like six fifty, I think it was. So I'm gonna sell these two guys. These are again, this is our pieces parts right now. I did move everything over. We have nothing left on top of um, uh, Zoe Salon. It is completely empty. I even took down the structure. There's nothing up there anymore that would even suggest we were living there. So everything is over here now at Home Sweet Home. Let's go to the map real quick so you guys can see. You can see a little bit what I've done, right? Look at there, huh? Yeah, look at that. We got a bit of a trench going on right now. I did just go to the. You see this hill right here? I had to go. I had to do some digging through there. So I thought I'm gonna get the tough stuff done right off the bat and get it out of the way. So I've got a chunk done, but it's it's not deep or anything like that. It's just I'll show it to you. And then I've got kind of a map laid out of where posts and stuff will go uh, for our structural integrity, so we can start doing some building. Figured that out. Also located, I went down this dirt road a little bit and hit some nitrate, some nitrate, because I was looking for it because I needed to make crop plots. We have a little bit of a farm. You can't see it because I'm in, this is in the way. There's a little bit of farm right here. There you go. It's right there. Right there. We've got corn and potatoes growing. So we've got farming going, which is really good. Uh, next thing I'm working towards is getting dun, 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 healing factor. No, is it in here? Master Chef. I want to get uh, Grandma opened up because that's going to give us tasty meals to fill you up. We get meat stew, vegetable stew, blueberry pie, and pumpkin dishes. So we'll be able to cook all those things. The meat stew is really great. So I've been kind of working on getting some seeds together. So I did visit uh, a couple of the farms right here. I went and grabbed this guy's blueberries, and then there was some corn that I grabbed up in through here. 
but there I didn't go any of the structures or anything like that. I just kind of picked the uh, the farms a little bit, got some corn seeds together. I did find another potato field. I think it was over here maybe. But anyways, I kind of hit these guys up for some seed action, and I got it. And so we've got a little bit of stuff going, a little bit of stuff. Um, and I'll show that to you as well. Today, yeah, it's an open trade route. So I think, see, so this is how far it got down. I did find a little structure out here. Uh, we're going over to the uh, opening trade routes today. So we'll just take the main road right out of here, and it should take us right to it. It's not very far away. So it's kind of nice having two traders uh, relatively, you know, just kind of catty corded to each other like that. So anyways, that's what's been going on around here in just the general, you know, apocalyptic world survival. Jeez, it's deadly out there. They're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Anyways, uh, I will come back when the sun is coming up and uh, we'll head out the door. Did I get that pocket mod? Huh, I didn't do it. I was wondering, can I... I've got to think I can. Right? Yeah, modify. There we go. Yeah, I'm missing a whole slot. Right? There we go. Well, we got an extra slot down there. Perfect. Exactly great. And we'll, you know, our, we'll increase those as we can as we move along. And then we'll take these little ones and we'll throw them in some clothes or some armor. And we'll sell them to the trader and make some cash off of them. But I think I'm ready to go. I'm just going to wait for the sun to come up, like I said. And then we will head out the door and uh, I'll show you what's been going on. Something else that happened um, over the weekend. I did make the cement mixer. I have that in here. I have made some cement. Uh, 427. Woof, I know. I know. Powerhouse. But there we go. We've got some cement. Uh, anyways, I've just been uh, kind of having a good time just gathering resources and stuff and doing some digging and just, just being in here is, is so much fun. It's such a great um, uh, apocalyptic adventure. I was thinking to myself before I started, I, I'm not a big horror game person. They terrify me, and I don't play them well. I'm jumpy, and so, you know, it freaks me out. This one's just got a right level to it, where it's just it's just a sweet spot for me. I really like how this apocalyptic world works and what I can do in it. Uh, build, and then just basically have fun in the towns. Okay, I'll be back. There we go. We'll cook some forged iron. We had a little bit of iron in there. I've got some clay smelted down in there, too. I should probably get clay going, actually, because... Uh-oh. What was that? There's a stranger here, I think. Somebody somebody stepped on one of our traps. Anyways, we'll get the forged iron going, so we've got a bunch of that. Uh, we're going to have to grab forged steel and stuff, too, as well. Do I have a wrench on me? Oh, I don't. Um, Over here. Best one we got is this one right here. I think I can make probably... Can I make a level 2 wrench? Let's see. No, it's just a level 1, huh? Okay. But we could if we wanted to. Most definitely. But we'll just take that one with us right there. And our hunting knife. Alright, let's go see what... Uh... Come on now. There you go, radio. We had a chicken die on our fence, which was cool. Oh, it is a chicken. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, just like that. It's like a trap. It's a trap. I oh, know. It's a chicken trap. So I hope my chickens. Little spikes, and I get my chickens with a spike. The ten of those bad boys. Mm, ten meat. There we go. So here's uh here's our farm at the moment. It's quite small, but uh it's as you can see it's it's growing. It's growing. This is the new planter box, the new farm plot. I like that. I got our mushrooms on the side here. Uh, I really like this guy. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually having, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I want to build it, but I, I like the way they look. And I, of course, they snap together just like these guys do too. But they've got a nicer look to them. And I think I'd like to go with something that's a nicer look. I don't think they cost any more. Uh, it's No, they don't. It's a farm plot block. It's, uh, it's one of the choices. And then they've got the nice corner ones too, but the corner ones, the curved corner ones are only for this guy here. I, I didn't see a corner one for this guy. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. We'll see. So uh, come, come hither. Let's start over here and we'll walk our way through it. So drawbridge is going to be right here. It's going to be right smack dab here. It's not going to be in the center of the thing. It's going to be down here. Um, so 
I could probably have an issue with zombies back in that area, but I think for the most part, I didn't have too much trouble with them uh, in, in last season with, with our moat around the place. I could pretty much get them to wherever I wanted them to go, and it was, it was easy peasy going, so no big deal. But I do want to do the trench, so we're going to do the trench. What is this all about? That's weird looking. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to look like that. Oh, wow, I can't pick this stuff up. I can pick that up. What is this? Oh, oh, what? What is going on? <laughs> I had some trees vanish on me the other day, too. I was in here for, I don't know, three, four hours or something, just doing grind work and stuff. And, yeah, I had a couple of, um, I had trees start to disappear when you turned. They would just disappear really quick. But they were, like, right next to you. Yeah. So there's those kind of things still going on, it looks like. Uh, so I did start digging the trench. Like I said, I decided to take down the hard part first. So I've dug out the part of the trench that um, is basically the, the hillside. This, of course, is going to have to be uh, tapered down a little bit more, too. We're going to have to do some more work on this hillside to kind of push it back a little bit. And then uh, we'll do some kind of nice retaining wall or something. The zombies will be able to get up and get out of here. And, uh, but the idea is when they fall in, we'll have our spikes along the edge. Uh, you know, and be able to shoot them and kill them from above. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but yeah, so we will dig our trench. It's a five wide. Uh, five wide. We'll go all the way around five, and then we'll go down actually four. And then the bottom one will be, of course, the bottom of it. Okay, so we'll, it'll be a three high wall. Uh, which I think would be just fine. It seemed to work out just great last time. Uh, and then if we have to, we could put a rail or something on it too. Uh, so I figure what we do is we come through the drawbridge here. And then we're going to have our entrance to our mine area here. Now this structure uh, is going to stay there for now. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get our pillars put in. And then uh, we're going to make this a usable space right away. And I think I am going to go that high with it. I think I want my, my walls to be this high. Uh, just so I have plenty of space to do, you know, the uh, kind of the work on the edges and the trims and stuff like that. I want to be able to do some of that stuff in here. So we drive in and we can park the Jeep in here. We will have our mine over here, uh, but we'll give it plenty of space for the mine to be right here. And then we'll do our forge area, I think, kind of in this area right here. So Jeep pulls in. We've got our forging stuff going on there. Maybe we have storage right here. I'm trying to think... I'm thinking I want to be able to drive the Jeep back out of here without having to back out. That's what I'm thinking about doing. If that's the case, then what we could do is we could put... Uh, we could continue this down here. And we put another drawbridge here and we exit this direction here. Where does that take us? It takes us out into the forest, basically, right? I did nothing right now. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see, right? We'll take a drive. I think this ties into the town over here. I saw buildings from, from here, uh, over here. So I know it's not that far away. So maybe we should head over there. But I'm the, the shape of it is going to be, you know, we'll, we'll get our initial structure put in place, uh, start living in that, and then what we'll do is we will upgrade our place and make it look better and better as we go. Um that's kind of the approach I want to take. So, yeah, this is our entrance right here. I thought this would be a good spot for it. Bonk, just like that. Go straight in, doors, boom, we go inside, and we've got forge, and then we've got storage back there, and then we've got our living areas back here. Cooking and living back in that corner right there. Um, and then, you know what? This is going to be a sizable thing, right? We, we could easily... If I wanted to, I could easily turn this into the drive. The Jeep, would, the Jeep, the 4x4 truck, it'll drive through here just fine. Oh, but that makes, that kind of screws up my garden area. Could the garden area go here and across the way over here? Is that enough space from like, uh, well, like you can see where the columns are, right? It's just going to kind of continue along back there. So I've got all this space basically out here in the front open. Except for the fact that I will exit here with the Jeep, motorcycle, whatever, you know. We'll go back out, be able to travel through. Put the living quarters above 
the passageway for the Jeep and the vehicles through here. Ooh. And then we could do something kind of raised up here. The living quarters are going to be up here, right? I mean, we're going to have, uh, we should have some kind of a, a balcony on our room that we can be up a few blocks higher and just, you know, have fun if we want to and just kill a few. <laughs> I know it's sick, but it's true. It's fun. Um, okay. All right. That's a pretty wide path right through here, man. That's It's five wide, I believe. It should be five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these are all should be about five. One, two, three, four, and five. The only place I don't have it five wide is... Where was that? There is one spot where it's only three. Well, there's nothing. Yeah, where was the three? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll find it later and let you guys see it. We'll figure it out then. This is just initial concept going through my head. Boom. That's all it is to it. I could even possibly dig down. Hmm. I was just thinking, we've got those new wedges that are nice, a, a very nice, easy um, incline. We could do that like once and go down the full four blocks that it is and then give ourselves maybe another block of depth so if i do this here oh, oh is this where my three is right here yeah one two three yeah and then i've got a one two and a three well i don't know well anyways that's that's where my three is right there which is fine um that's no big deal why is that three i don't know anyways um We'll work that out when we get there. But I think if we could do that, we could drop it actually a little bit. Roll in. And turn. Okay, we're turning the Jeep here. Because that's eventually what you drive a lot in the motorcycle. If we did some kind of a catwalk thing right here, we could raise the storage up a little bit right through in here. Okay, we stop. And this is our storage area, workbenches, and things of that nature are over here keep rolling through we could park the jeep right here er, and then get out and then have you like that like hit the brakes and everything for you uh and then be able to go up into there's a spiral staircase too now which looks really cool i think uh so we could do that and go up into our area uh, vault door oh yeah and then it would overlook the workshop down here from this corner here see what i'm saying Oh, yes. So this is kind of a taller area in this corner. We could look down into the crafting area here. The Jeep, of course, is cruising through here, and the vehicles are. Well, right through here, and then out. Hmm, yeah, okay. Okay. That's the initial idea. That is the initial idea. How are we doing out here, corn? Rowing. Okay, it's going to be done today. I'll be able to pick corn. Corn, I'll tell you. Oh, I'm going to have some corn. Uh, everything's, yeah, everything's, well, there's, <laughs> there's four, there's four seeds in there. All right, give me one second. I shall be right back and we're going to head out and go check out the, uh, uh, the trader. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Yoo-hoo! Let's take a little ride. You know, the mini bike does not use that much gas. If you're not holding the shift key down, it does not use that much gas. Um, it's actually a pleasant ride. I usually stop and kill the zombies anyways and stuff. Um, out here I have done a few, uh, some iron node gathering, but I've actually put blocks down uh, out here in locations to, uh, you know, um, mark them so I can come back and get the rest of it later if I need to. Hey you, come here you, I want to kill you with my knife. <laughs> oh, he got me. He got me. I let him touch me. I let him do it. It's my first zombie today. Come on. Bound to go wrong. She's using a knife. Don't let him get too close to you. Baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, by far my most favorite apoc apocalyptic game ever. I gotta say, I do enjoy being in here. It's quite, uh, quite exciting sometimes. Murky water and a band-aid. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, we'll take it. Murky water and a band-aid. Where's Pete? Good morning, Pete. Let me break him a baseball bat. Let me get my swing on, buddy. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a home run. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Um, I'll, get leave, I'll leave that there. I'll, I'll pick it up some other time. Uh, I'll pick it up some other time. I've actually done really well with the clay. I should be picking all this metal up. This, this rotten flesh. Ah, whoa. That's weird. I've got to uh, be proud of me, people. Look how proud you are right now of me. Oh, look at Radio. He remembered. That's right. Get the water. There's a chicken. We don't want it to die in the water, though. There's Billy. Billy. It's Billy. Billy the, the barroom bully. Got me a chicken. Did I get him? I missed. I can't hit that chicken from here. Not with that thing. Billy? Heard you coming. <laughs> okay, I've wasted three rounds on that chicken. I don't think this gun's that good that far away. So, we're getting the tour today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, we're just doing some exploration. I've not been down here yet. There is uh, not a whole lot to see. I'm thinking maybe I'm cutting cutting across country, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with the road. And I'll just keep killing these guys as we go along. Oh, bunny. Bunny. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Bonk. Poor sedan's never been touched. Oh my god, I should... Oh, there's some glue in there. That's good. Oh, man. I'm going to lose that bunny. Hope he's coming back. Is he coming back? Ah, he's out of here. I don't like hunting the rabbits. It's got to be just, you know what? Crime of opportunity. Those rabbits. Those silly rabbits. Oh, there's like a river back there and everything. See this? Is this a river? It looks like it. Look at that, right there. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, man, there's a river back here. How awesome is that? Oh, that is really cool. Let's cruise this a little bit and see it. This is awesome. It's kind of at an angle here, though, huh? I don't know if there's any really flat places. You'd have to kind of dig yourself in a little ways. Yeah, yeah, this used to be Mary. This was this was my Mary, my sweet Mary in the denim outfit. She always had a little bit of food in her pocket, you know? Oh. Holy crap. Lois is doing... <laughs> okay, all right, Lois it is. Yeah. Mary never gave me that kind of stuff. Uh-uh. Nope. Stingy. Oh, chicken. Hold it, hold it, hold it. the heck? He walk around that rock and sit down? Oh, that is just the weirdest thing in the world. He just vanished. What? He vanished. <laughs> All right. I've got blocks disappearing on me. A zombie touched me. It's gross. Billy, he's down the water. Oh, look at this. Okay, then we've got... Oh, what is this over here? Is this wasteland, or is this just an uh, uh, odd mountain generation? It looks like a kind of an odd rocky mountain generation, huh? Yeah. Almost like a landslide, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool, though. It does. looks like a landslide hit this area. Who's that? Have fun with, with your zombies, people. Have fun with them. Yeah, like a landslide happened here. Where is he? Oh, here he comes. What do we got here? Oh, the biker. Oh. Put him down. Put him down again. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, Buster Brown. Hmm. 
pretty cool. Sip my copy. Mmm. It's, it's not super hot. Yeah. It's not very hot. But it'll do, pig. It'll do. Uh, that is really... Uh, I've never seen that before. A little bit of iron right there. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, it's on the map now? Yeah, look at that. Huh. Like Snake River. Ooh. <laughs> ah, I hear you, but I'm not going to stop. I, I got a trader to go see. He's he's open. Me and the peeps got to go see a, go see our new trader. I like the fact that this zombie and the old tweaker, um, their heads scrape off the top. I think that is amazingly cool. <laughs> it's just completely different animation. The jiggly stuff is really cool. I think it adds a lot of life to the character. Oh, God! Dear! Gotcha! I probably expended too many rounds on that. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have shot quite that many times, but I got excited. Pete, got any eggs out here, buddy? Look at you. You surely do. I'll take that egg. Ooh, Malasita. Bam. Right to the head. What? There's a lot of tree stumps out here too. So gratifying. It's 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 just amazing. And it's just a level two. <laughs> I can't wait. So I've been putting points into strength. Figured that was a wise thing to do. Uh, I may be going the wrong way, I don't know. I, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Just really having a good time putting these guys down. It's just delicious. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to drink a little something. Oof, I need to eat a little something. That's not going to get me all the way there, but that's going to work for now. Okay, where am I going? I'm going this way. This way. Well, don't forget your deer radio, huh? That's what you're thinking, aren't you? Uh, knife. Yeah. I just completely forgot about my deer. Fortunately, he's laying here dead on the road. That's right. It was a mighty buck. Mighty, mighty buck. We got him. Look at the meat coming in. There it is. Yep. Mm, 30 meat. Oh, I got him. He was on the run, too. Did you see that? Oh. Okay. My skills are improving. There he is. There he is. Whew, I lost him. He's worth 10, right? Here we go. Nice. Okay. I'll take it. Check this garbage while we're here. Uh, I will take that. And I think I can sell those. I think Holly's down the street here a little bit. Uh, we're almost there. I'm, I'm. This This is why I play. It's just so much fun to do this. <laughs> just, you constantly got this kind of stuff going on. And you just, you know. Amazing. Amazing thing. Next thing you know, there's a bear and five Doberman pinches trying to kill you. <laughs> it's just crazy. Chicken. I see him. Maybe I should have kept the rifle. Let's see if I can hit that chicken from here. Got him. Alright, good deal. Good deal. Good deal. I just felt like spend the, spending the 9mm on hunting chickens and rabbits is far more... It's cheaper than using 7.62s in the rifle. So I figured you better get good... Oh, watch it. Watch it. You hit the bike. Uh-oh. Someone's coming up on us. It's Lois. How do we get up? There we go. Nice. Look at all this ore here. Nitrate, iron. That's nice. Oh my god, look at this. Buck number two. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Oh yeah, right there. 
There, that's saving the ammunition, people. Two rounds, bam. Could have been a regular rifle, but didn't one. <laughs> you can count on it. Oh, look. Yeah, look at him. He's like, oh, what the heck? Mm -hmm. We got the big guy up ahead here. I'll be curious to see um, what kind of foe this guy will be when he... Oh, there's another deer up here on the road. What is this? It's like, oh my god. Yeah, hold on, buddy. Think about that for a little bit. Oh, one shot. I'm going to go ahead and reload this while I'm waiting for him to get over here. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. What happens if I hit you in the knee? Well, <laughs> you don't like it. Oh, my stamina's gone. Oh, it's going to get foggy. There's one. There's another one. There it is. Oh, he's getting up again. Oh, he's durable. <laughs> he is a durable fellow. Yeah, he is. He's tough. Tough guy. Tough guy. Oh, man. Deer. Oh, dear. Third deer today. Oh, my God. That's more deer than I've ever seen. She looked, she looked quite shocked. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Don't hit the bike. Hmm. The haunches. There we go. Get them, get them ribs cleaned up. Mm, that's nice. There we go. Perfect. Another deer. Oh, that guy took more. I guess it wasn't his head I was shooting. Huh? I should have. Yeah. I panicked. Oh, well, see that that second hit right there, that big one, it hit his arm. Tim Burr. Bunker. I know who you are. I know who you are. You're the bunker. Oh, we got uh we got power poles. Okay, here's a punker. There you go. You got to time it just right. Here we are. Got anything in here? No. Gotta sell that stuff too. I didn't bring my dukes. Did I? Sure didn't. But we can search the place. We'll sell everything off. Oh, it's going to be Jen, huh? We only got a Joel and a Jen. <laughs> what, Jen? I didn't catch that. <laughs> you didn't say anything. You just. Congratulations. Oh, there you go. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Thank you. Yes. May I see your inventory? Sell. Sell. I'm going to go ahead and sell those. Uh, <laughs> Let's do that. And that. I told her she could buy... Uh, she's not going to take them all. Dang it. Jen, why won't you buy all of them? So what did I wind up with out of that? 450, huh? All right. Let's go. Oh, she's got a beaker for 1500 Restock day 13. Thank what is you this? So much. Hey, come again. Day 10. Okay, so we're going to come out here and buy that from her for sure. So she's got a beaker. Okay, we'll get that. Uh, I bet if I did a job for her, I could get enough put together. Magnum 44 schematic. That would be cool. Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 6. Basic sensors. I'm kind of going into that field anyway, so I don't know if I need to buy that if I can just learn it regular like. Food. What do you got in here? Uh, it takes. I forgot it took five potatoes to make one seed, so that's actually a, a pretty good deal right there. But I've got them growing, and they're going to grow today, so I think I'm good to go uh, at the moment. Okay, so she's got a beaker for sure that we want. Okay, Jen. If you find so, any extra medicine out there, I'll buy it off of you for a discount. Oh, really? Okay. You got any jobs? Uh, what do you got this close? Clear zombies, I 123. Would love to give you. This is dangerous work, but 
I believe you can handle it. Well, well I've done several number ones, Jen. Just so you know. <laughs> now, we should make a box. Let's make a... Do I have wood on me? Storage? Secure storage. Yes, craft. Let's put one of these out here. I mean, she's literally going to be, like, right next to us. Perfect. I'll drop this over here. Oh, boom, boom. Drop the dukes in there. That, that, that. Yep, yep. Uh, we'll keep the painkiller on us. That's that's kind of nice. And voila. How's my food my water? I should probably drink a little something. And eat a little something. I bet we find a little bit of food where we're going to. Okay. Wrench. I think we're good. Let's make sure we're loaded. Take care of a job for Jen out here, and then, uh, you know, we'll feel better about ourselves. Because we helped her out. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't really say anything to me right off the bat there. She just kind of waved her arm at me like, Hey, what do you think you're doing walking in here? Oh, that's right, I'm open for business. It's like, what are you drinking, Jen? <laughs> you're lucky, rabbit. I'm not interested in rabbits right now. I'm interested in getting rid of these guys because they're just going to show up later. And bam! Oh, see, the top of his head comes off. You can see his brain. You literally smash it right in. It's disgusting. So, that's interesting that she said that, because I remember last season, I wound up... Oh, look at this. Here's a little field of, um... Grow plots and stuff. Anyways, um... About the medicine. She'll buy the medicine off of me. I think that's, um... There it is. Oh, it's look at this. We got like an alley here. This is cool. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Well, I got the bike. I could use this as some storage. All right. I think we're good to go. Oh, this feels like a dog area to me. It really does. It's a tier one, right? I'm just uh. Clear the area, right? Yeah, I just gotta go kill everybody inside. Oh, gotta go up the trellis, though, it looks like. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna just set my coffee real quick. Wet my whistle. It doesn't matter what level these are. It freaks me out. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go dish out some apocalyptic justice. With our level 2 baseball bat. <laughs> And our shotgun. Uh-oh. They got us dropping in. What the heck? Is that right? Well, oh, there's some good stuff to wrench. Did I screw that up? I feel like I screwed that up somehow. I don't know. We'll go back up there and see. Oh, piece of cloth. Come on. There's okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Going in. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Oh, uh, we got a door. Okay. Boom. Oh. 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 We're gonna get over here. We got some room. I'm gonna break out the big gun. Crawler. Oh, we're good. Take him out first. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, Stanley. Can we talk about this? Oh, oh. Look at you. Aren't you smart? Going around the other way. <laughs> Did you see that? You went around the other way. That's pretty smart. I did not expect Stanley to do something like that. Scrap. Scrap. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, I love that. Okay. Trickster. I, um... That's a taboo thing to do right there, is to fall through the dang ceiling like that. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Oh, 
Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> she touched me. It's alright. It's Victoria. She's hot. Shut that bathroom door. We emptied the fancy toilet already. See, I'm already getting nervous. Ha! Huh, it got stormy out, but guess what? I've got a headlamp. Doesn't matter. Uh, did I put a chest out here? Just the bike, huh? It's telling me... I've got one, like, upstairs still around here somewhere. Where's my bike parked? Right here. Here we go. Oh, hey, Crawler. No. We don't want we don't want what you're selling. Oh, how could I miss that? We'll get that. Let's go ahead and drop, drop, drop. drop, drop. Yeah, I guess I guess so, huh? An untouched Oh, look at there. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Hey, that's right. I got a jacket. I got a duster. Uh oh I picked up one of our airdrops recently. It was wonderful. Okay. Got it. Two. Somebody's back there, huh? That looks disgusting. <laughs> Jen, what did you send me into? Uh-oh. Is it just you? I was worried there for a second. Oh, man. This is a creepy place. Ooh, medical supplies. Aloe. Some aloe cream for my skin. Oh, brutal. There's a screenshot right there for you. Oh, awesome. Awesomely spooky. It's nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I like it. I'm. I'm I don't know if I'm going to go on a crossbow. I don't know yet. What do we got in here? Ooh, okay. I'll take a level 5 one instead. Do I have a pipe on me? I don't, but if I get one, I'll fix it up. Alright. Take the rest of that. And it even gave me a little bit of animal. You see, that gave me 10 rounds for it. How adorable. Basic sensor schematic. Okay, well, I'm kind of going to go into that field, but that's okay. That's That means we can get that earlier. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I need frames anymore, but I do need my knife. There we go. Nice. Bits and pieces. Okay. Oh, there's shoes by the front door. Look at there. What are those guys worth? I'm going to take that out. 40 bucks, huh? Hmm. Alright, I'll sell them. What the heck? Why not? I guess that's it. Alright. Awesome. We got some loot in our pockets. Anything I can add to my junk? I've got polymer on me. Of course I do. I've got rocks on me too. Oh, look at the flatbed trailer parked in here. With the tires on it. That is really cool. This is a nice little town too. Yeah, I like this little town. It's cute so far. Got a little trailer area back here too. Look at this. Got the knife. Ninety-nine bucks. Okay. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell that. 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 You go up here. Water. I pick up here. I'm just putting the stuff up out of the way so I don't accidentally sell it. 
Okay, there we go. And is there anything else I want to sell in here? No. Anything in here? No, but there's my 450 Dukes. Well, we're trying to get to 1500, right? I, I doubt we made it. But I can come back um, with the money uh, next day. Well, maybe we've got some stuff in here we can sell. Alright, there we go. We got a schematic we could sell her. Oh, level up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Always one zombie has to show up and ruin the peace and quiet of Jen, Trader Jen's, you know, place here. Stone. Some oil. There we go. We got some oil. Let's check the trash can. There go. Sounds like Pete. Yeah, that sounds like Pete. What's oh, Stanley? Look at that. Got him. That's right. Lock and load. <laughs> I wanted him to stop making those noises. He was driving me crazy. Uh, I think we got everything here. Oh, there's a bird's nest. Well, you can keep the feathers. I could probably go in there, huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's a bag of trash. Uh, I think I'm good. I think, I think, I think I'm pretty good. I, I guess I missed a few things here and there. Ooh, there's a sewing kit. Sewing kits, I notice, aren't something you find uh, too many of. Although I've had enough to do what I'm doing uh, so far. Uh, we need to go in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's a bicycle chassis. Blue. Hello? Well, here we go. I just did not go out the door yet. Come on. Where'd you go? Weird. Come on. There you are. Okay. The bag of trash was worth checking. There's a little bit of something in there. Unfortunately, those lockers are empty. Clothing would be cool. Okay, and I don't think there's usually anything up here. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For all I know, there's tons of loot up here. Well, there's not. Yeah, there's not. <laughs> okay. I did remember right, but then I don't want to say I remember right, because, you know, 